So as I'm sure many of you know already, Russia decided to flop their magnum dongs out and invade Ukraine, but instead of talking about this from the political side like everybody and their goldfish has already, I wanted to kind of... Exploit is not the right word, I don't know why that came to mind, that just sounds horrible. <laughs> Pretty much, I'm just going to be going through and showing you the, the TikTok that introduced me to this whole situation. I had no idea a war was about to happen until i seen a TikTok, and that's absolutely crazy. A massive event like this was presented to me and brought to my attention on TikTok. That is the state of the world that we are in. But pretty much this video is just going to be me going through some crazy TikTok videos that I've seen, and then also a really horrible post that was put up on Twitter of a lady doing some slam poetry about how she could have fixed Vladimir Putin if she was his mother. Yeah, so look forward to that. <laughs> That video of a soldier in a tank listening to a 50 Cent Beat remix was my introduction to this travesty going on between Russia and Ukraine. That is just, that still blows my mind. I, I, I can't believe it. I forgot to bring this up at the beginning of the video. I wanted to say that my heart and thoughts and prayers go out to anyone involved in this. Everyone that's been injured or worse, family members that are involved, all that kind of stuff. It's, it's a horrible thing. War, ne nothing good ever comes from war. It's a horrible thing. And also, my thoughts and prayers, I know they're not they're not worth much. You know, they're basically worth their weight in Monopoly money. It's like a Visco girl putting Save the Trees in her bio. It doesn't do anything, but, you know, it's just a common courtesy. A good thing to say, maybe boost the morale or whatever, you know. Just wanted to put it out there at least. And that video right there was absolutely crazy to me when I first saw it. I didn't really know what was going on, but I translated the caption here. And if it's uploaded by the person who is in the battlefield area, it says Ukraine with crying faces. And I also looked in the TikTok comments to kind of get a gist for what was going on. And I know TikTok comments, oh, doggy, so unbelievable. It's like using a Wikipedia source in an English class. It's a big scary monster. <laughs> but if you're going to take the comments at face value, basically my understanding was it's Russian soldiers while they're fighting the Ukrainians. And for some reason he whipped out his phone to record and post a TikTok. <laughs> I guess that's what the world's come to. You got to Clip it or it didn't happen. And I'm not laughing at the situation, I'm more laughing at the storyline I'm creating in my head, hearing the COD announcer and everything. Does that make me a horrible person? Probably, yeah. <laughs> and there's also many more heartbreaking videos of actual bombings happening, like fighter jets shooting missiles into houses with children inside. And that was a horrible video that I saw, I'm not going to be showing any of those. But this right here is just like some background sounds of a person that's near like an active war zone. It's just frightening to think of being in this situation. It really is so scary to think that a superpower like Russia could just do this at any time. And there are also many other memes like Vladimir Putin's playing Clash Royale and he's like dropping six elixir nukes on Ukraine and Fortnite battle bus going over top of the Ukrainian map and all this kind of stuff. But I feel like that's a bit too bad taste, you know, it's... I don't know, I just feel, I would feel bad watching those and putting them in the video and laughing at them. It just doesn't feel right. But uh, I'm going to go on now to the Twitter lady who is doing slam poetry about Vladimir Putin wanting to be his mommy. So here we go with Anna Lynn McCord and what has to be one of the worst things I've ever seen. Not even just on Twitter, just ever on the internet. Dear President Vladimir Putin, I'm so sorry that I was not your mother. If I was your mother, you would have been so loved, held in the arms of joyous light. Never would the story's plight, the world unfurled before our eyes, a pure demise of nations sitting peaceful under a night sky. And yeah, this is what we're dealing with. I have no idea who this lady is. She's verified. I've never heard of her before. Never even seen her before this post right here. But dear God, man, I scrolled through her page to see if maybe she was like a, a slam poetry activist because I don't know anybody who does that really. But no, she just decided to break it out for purely Vladimir Putin, wishing she would have been his mother to, <laughs> to breastfeed him and stuff, change his doppy whoppies and whop his poopy butt, and then maybe he wouldn't be such a bad guy now. I was your mother. The world would have been warm. 
so much laughter and joy and nothing would harm. I can't imagine the stain, the soul stealing pain that the little boy you must have seen and believed and the formulation of thought quickly taught that you lived in a cruel, unjust world. So I don't really know the point she's trying to get across. Like, is she trying to blame herself for not being his mother? Or is she trying to blame Vladimir Putin's mother? I don't really know what's going on. I'm lost in the slam poetry, man. I'm lost in the sauce, and I don't understand. <laughs> I don't know why she had to make this into a slam poetry battle. I, I just can't get over that. I can't get over the slam poetry, man. It's so, <laughs> it's so dumb that I'm laughing at it. Is this why you now decide no one will get the best of you? Is this why you do not hide nor away shy from taking back the world? It was it because so early in life, all that strife wrapped your little body with fear. So I don't know the lore of Vladimir Putin. I don't know his anime backstory and all that. I don't know if he had like a villain upbringing, like his mother was horrible, or maybe he didn't have a mom. I don't know. From the sounding of this, though, he had a horrible mom and also a horrible surrounding environment which led him to be this horrible person that wouldn't have happened if she had anything to do about it. If she would have screwed Vladimir Putin's dad, none of this would have happened. Hey, she carries the weight of the world on her shoulders. She's like that Atlas statue, I think that's what it's called. If I was your mother, if the world was cold, I'd have died to make you warm. I'd have died to protect you from the unjust, the violence, the terror, the uncertainty. I would have died to give you life. Oh dear, Mr. President Putin. I'm not even going to act like I'm following along at this point. I'm just going to shake my head and act like I'm listening. Because at this point in the conversation, I'm just letting her speak. I, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm lost. Completely. And utterly. She just really wants to be Vladimir Putin's mom, I guess. Perhaps the torture of unwrit youth would not within your heart imbue a scription to such fealty against that world that you thought was so cruel. Perhaps you would hold dear human life and on this night, instead of Mother Russia, you would call me and I would set your mind quite free with the love that only a mother can give. So I think right there what she was getting at is that she would have talked him down, she would have talked him off the ledge, pulled his hand away from that big shiny red button that said, launch all forces to Ukraine and wipe out innocent civilians. I'm pretty sure what she's getting at there is that she could have told him, Honey, Vladimir, this ain't you, baby. I can fix you. <laughs> Keep talking to me. Don't put down the phone. Don't send the forces into Ukraine. We can solve this peacefully, Vladimir. My Putin little baby, I, I changed you since you were a little boy. And now you listen to me, my boy. We aren't going to invade Ukraine. We aren't. It's not worth it. And then he would have been like, Yes, mama. Yes. Yes. He would have shed a little tear, hung up the phone, and then rode his horse, his horse shirtless. I don't know. What is he doing in his free time? But I know if I was your mother, that would be a start. Towards the awareness of what a powerful being of light you could be if your mind was only free from the violence you've seen when you were just two or three. I cannot believe I was born too late. That was definitely tough to set through. I, I don't understand what's going on. I, I think an English teacher would have definitely locked that as like a presentation or something. But as far as like an addressment to Vladimir Putin, what do you expect him to do to this? Say, yes, please come be my mother. I'll stop all attacks on Ukraine immediately. I'll send, I'll tell all forces to retreat. Just please come be my mommy and let me suckle from your mommy milkers, please. Anna Lynn McCord, please be my mother. I didn't have a good mother. I don't know, he's a horrible guy, you know. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. I seen that when I was on one of my really rare escapades onto Twitter. I was looking into the war situation to see what was going on, see if I can understand it some more because Twitter... Typically has the most info on that, but, you know, as I should have guessed, Twitter's a cesspool, it's a horrible place, and I should have seen something like this coming. And I didn't. It blindsided me. It really hit me hard, you know? I felt like I was going through a bit of a, a personal war in my head after I watched that video. But yeah, like I've said many times, and I could keep saying it over and over and over and over again, this is a horrible situation all around. I really hope it calms down soon. I would hate to have this evolve into a World War III scenario. As many jokes there are about World War III happening, that would truly be horrible. You know, the, it's just not even good to imagine. Just a horrible situation all around. I know this isn't your normal type of video if you have watched my channel before. I'm not my quirky, wacky 
funny self or whatever, if I'm even funny to you to begin with, you know. But yeah, that's going to be it for this one. I just wanted to show you kind of what I've been seeing about this situation. Some crazy stuff I've seen on TikTok and then this abomination that was on Twitter. And yeah, other than that, I will catch you in the next one. Peace out. But I was going to record this earlier when I seen it. Uh, I seen it about 3 p.m., but I've been gone all day. I was eating Japanese, you know, getting my munch on and whatnot. Hanging out, vibing. It's now currently 12 p.m. Well, 12 a.m. because it's midnight.